Everyone's dream is to live a life in Burj Khalifa at least for a day in their life. The world's tallest building. The Burj Khalifa holds several world records and offers unparalleled views of downtown Dubai. It is the unique design of Burj Khalifa that truly sets it apart. The centerpiece of this new world capital attracted the world's most esteemed designers to an invited design competition. Ultimately, the honor of designing the world's tallest tower was awarded to the global leader in creating ultra-tall structures. Want to know how Burj Khalifa is an architectural genius? And what makes Burj Khalifa unique? Let's take a look at how Burj Khalifa is an architectural genius. Burj Khalifa The Burj Khalifa, also known as the Dubai Burj Khalifa and the Khalifa Tower, is the world's tallest building, with a height of 2,722 feet. Located in the United Arab Emirates, UAE, this high-rise building stands next to the Dubai Mall in downtown Dubai. The Burj Khalifa is a structural engineering feat, holding several world records including the tallest freestanding structure and the tallest man-made structure. History of Burj Khalifa The Burj Khalifa's planning and construction spanned seven years. Proposal The initial designs for the Burj Khalifa were proposed in 2003 by Imar Properties, a real estate firm based in Dubai. The plans were inspired by the Empire State Building in New York City. Financial Setbacks after the construction process was threatened by setbacks during the financial crisis of 2008 and 2009, the president of the UAE in Abu Dhabi, Sheikh Khalifa, stepped in to fund the completion of the building. In his honor, the name of the building was changed from Burj Dubai to Burj Khalifa. Inauguration Burj Khalifa was inaugurated on January 4, 2010. The Council of Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat CTBUH, declared Burj Khalifa the world's tallest building later that year. Architecture The architecture features a triple-lobed footprint, an abstraction of the Hymenocallus flower. The tower is composed of three elements arranged around a central core. The modular, Y-shaped structure, with setbacks along each of its three wings, provides an inherently stable configuration for the structure and provides good floor plates for residential. 26 helical levels decrease the cross-section of the tower incrementally as it spirals skyward. The central core emerges at the top and culminates in a sculpted spire. A Y-shaped floor plan maximizes views of the Arabian Gulf. Viewed from the base or the air, Burj Khalifa is evocative of the onion domes prevalent in Islamic architecture. Wind Tunnel Testing Over 40 wind tunnel tests were conducted on Burj Khalifa to examine the effects the wind would have on the tower and its occupants. These ranged from initial tests to verify the wind climate of Dubai, to large structural analysis models and facade pressure tests, to microclimate analysis of the effects at terraces and around the tower base. Nevin the temporary conditions during the construction stage were tested with the tower cranes on the tower to ensure safety at all times. The stack effect or chimney effect is a phenomenon that affects super-tall building design and arises from the changes in pressure and temperature with height. Special studies were carried out on Burj Khalifa to determine the magnitude of the changes that would have to be dealt with in the building design. Floor Plan Concourse level to level 8 and levels 38 and 39 will feature the Armani Hotel Dubai. Levels 9 to 16 will exclusively house luxurious one- and two-bedroom Armani residences. Floors 45 through 108 are private ultra-luxury residences. The corporate suites occupy most of the remaining floors, except for level 122 which has horses. The atmosphere in level 124, the tower's public observatory, at the top, Burj Khalifa. For the convenience of homeowners, the tower has been divided into sections with exclusive sky lobbies on levels 43, 76 and 123 that feature state-of-the-art fitness facilities including a jacuzzis on levels 43 and 76 additionally house swimming pools and a recreational room each that can be utilized for gatherings and lifestyle events offering an unparalleled experience, both pools open to the outside offering residents the option of swimming from inside to the outside balcony. Other facilities for residents include a residence library in Lafayette Gourmet, a gourmet convenience store and a meeting place for the residents. Valet parking is provided for guests and visitors. 
Interiors The interior design of Burj Khalifa public areas was also done by the Chicago office of Skidmore, Owings & Merrill LLP and was led by award-winning designer Nada Andrick. It features glass and stones, together with silver travertine flooring, Venetian stucco walls, handmade rugs and stone flooring. The interiors of the building by local culture while staying mindful of the building's status as a global icon and residence. Artwork Over 1,000 pieces of art from prominent Middle Eastern and international artists Burj Khalifa and the surrounding Mohammed bin Rashid Boulevard. Many of the pieces were specially commissioned by Imar to be a tribute to the spirit of global harmony. The pieces were selected as a means of linking cultures and communities, symbolic of Burj Khalifa as an international collaboration. Construction Excavation work began for Burj Khalifa in January 2004 and over the ensuing years to its completion. The building passed many important milestones on its goal to become the tallest man-made structure the world has ever seen. In just 1,325 days since excavation work started in January 2004, Burj Khalifa became the tallest freestanding building in the world. Construction Highlights Over 45,000 M3, 58,900 CUID, of concrete, weighing more than 110,000 tons were used to construct the concrete and steel foundation which features 192 piles buried more than 50 m, 164 fort, deep. Burj Khalifa's construction will have used 333,000 m3, 431, 600 cuid, of concrete and 39,000 tons, 43,000 street, 38,000 lt, of steel rebar, and construction will have taken 22 million man-hours. The exterior cladding of Burj Khalifa began in May 2007 and was completed in September 2009. The vast project involved more than 380 skilled engineers and on-site technicians. At the initial stage of installation, the team progressed at the rate of about 20 to 30 panels per day and eventually achieved as many as 175 panels per day. The tower accomplished a world record for the highest installation of an aluminium and glass facade with a height of 512 meters. The total weight of aluminium used on Burj Khalifa is equivalent to that of five A380 aircraft and the total length of stainless steel bullnose fins is 293 times the height of the Eiffel Tower in Paris. In November 2007, the highest reinforced concrete core walls were pumped using 80 MPA concrete from ground level. A vertical height of 601 meters. This smashed the previous pumping record for building 470 meters of Taipei 101 the world's second tallest tower and the previous world record for vertical pumping of 532 meters for an extension to the Riva del Garda hydroelectric power plant in 1994. The concrete pressure during pumping to this level was nearly 200 bars. The amount of rebar used for the tower is 31,400 metric tons laid end to end this world extended over a quarter of the way around the world. Four notable characteristics of the Burj Khalifa. Consider some of the notable characteristics of the Burj Khalifa. Design. The Burj Khalifa is a symbol of human creativity with profound roots in nature. The design of the Burj Khalifa building is a Y-shaped structural system that replicates a desert flower called Hemerocallis. The building's exterior cladding, our curtain wall, is a combination of textured stainless steel, glass panels, and aluminium. Spire. The central core of the tower rises to the top of the building with a spire. The spire exists for height and communication purposes. Elevator. Burj Khalifa's elevator holds the record for the longest travel distance of any elevator. Which is 140 stories long. The Burj Khalifa's lifts travel at a speed of 10 meters per second, putting them among the world's fastest. The 124th floor observation deck of the Burj Khalifa takes less than a minute to reach via the Burj Khalifa elevator. Park and Lake. A park and lake surround the ground level of the building. The lake includes the Dubai Fountain Show. On New Year's Eve, spectators enjoy a fireworks display set off from the skyscraper itself as well as around the lake. Current Uses of the Burj Khalifa Burj Khalifa is a mixed-use skyscraper that serves several functions. A hotel allows tourists and locals to experience the landmark building through an overnight stay. Dine at the restaurant or relax in the lounge, which overlooks the world's highest performing fountains. 
Whether you're a gourmet dining expert or simply want to unwind, the atmosphere ensures an unforgettable experience. Residences offer apartment-style living options within the Burj Khalifa. The Burj Khalifa includes 37 floors dedicated to office space for various businesses. The Burj Khalifa includes multiple swimming pools, a health and fitness club, a spa, a library, and several shops. There are a variety of restaurants and lounges located throughout the skyscraper. Complete with observation decks on three different floors, Burj Khalifa claims one of the world's highest outdoor observation decks on its 124th floor as well as an indoor observation deck on its 148th floor. View from Burj Khalifa, any apartment higher than the 20th floor in the UAE can give you amazing views. But only an apartment in Burj Khalifa gives you spectacular aerial views of the entire city. Not to mention the fact that the sky is the limit. The skyscraper scales up to 160 stories and stands tall. The height of Burj Khalifa is 828 meters. To add to the appeal, the floor-to-ceiling windows in this Burj Khalifa apartment, listed by Martyrs Boutique Realty Dubai, make it so much more enticing. Imagine walking into your apartment and seeing all of Dubai sprawled in front of you. And can you imagine the view at night? Glittering Dubai city lights against the night sky. We cannot think of a better way to end your day. Apartments that made of dreams. Keeping aside the fact that Burj Khalifa is the world's most prestigious address to be living it, once you've taken a look at the apartments, you will understand why it's so much more than just that. The Icon Landmark has over 900 residential units, including studios and one to four bedroom suites. Think gorgeous dark stained wood floors with state-of-the-art luxury fittings and elemental floor-to-ceiling windows giving you striking views of Dubai. The glamour of it all. And now for the most obvious factor of all. Burj Khalifa is inevitably the most glamorous address in the world. Hopping into a cab and asking to be dropped off at Burj Khalifa, because that's where the home is, is a dream many of us harbor. But alas, only a few are lucky enough to be living the fantasy. The residences at Burj Khalifa are designed for the connoisseur and possess all the factors to give high-flying individuals their money's worth. With the UAE's largest shopping mall just a stone's throw away, Burj Khalifa residents are never short of shopping and dining options, with chic restaurants in Burj Khalifa's vicinity to choose from. An internal link takes residents directly to Dubai Mall, making it super convenient. The spectacular Dubai fountains also make for great views from Burj Khalifa apartments. It's no surprise that the happening neighborhood makes for great views from Burj Khalifa apartments. The glamour element of living in Burj Khalifa can also be attributed to common celebrity sightings in the tower. Giorgio Armani's hotel is located in Burj Khalifa, and there are tons of celebrities and high-profile socialites who frequent the building. Dubai is one of the top choices of celebrities looking to invest overseas, with many who own apartments in Dubai. Rents for a one-bedroom apartment in Burj Khalifa start from AED 130K, while two-bedroom and three-bedroom flats can be leased for annual rents starting from AED 185K and AED 345K, respectively. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for staying till the end of this video, share your thoughts or comments in the box below, see you next time.